Hey, have you heard the story of the mouse and the mouse trap? Okay, it's more than a story. There's a lesson here too, all right? So hang with me for just a moment or two. I heard this story today. I heard a preacher preaching it, and uh, I thought it, it illustrated a truth that needs to be taught, all right? And so I'm going to pass it on to you different than what he illustrated, but nevertheless, here you go. There was a mouse who gathered together the pig, the chicken, and the cow. He got them together and he announced to them, I don't know if you all have heard it or not, but the farmer has put a mousetrap in the barn. Now, the three of the animals looked at the mouse and said, So what? He said, but it's going to affect your life if you don't pay attention. They just walked away thinking that he was just talking to be talking. And they ignored the rest of what he had to say. Well, fast forward just a little bit and the, the next day the farmer's wife was on her way out to gather the eggs and little did she know that in that mousetrap had been caught a poisonous snake. Now, it had only caught the snake, it hadn't killed it, and the snake was laying there, and when the farmer's wife walked by, the snake reached over and bit her on the leg. She was very sick. So the farmer took her and put her in bed and called some of the neighbor friends, some of the ladies, and said, my wife has been bit by a snake, and could you all come and help my wife during this time? And so some of the neighbor ladies came and they gathered together in order to take care of his wife during the day and they were hungry in the morning and they needed something to eat. So they said to the farmer, we'd really like to have some breakfast. And he said, well, what would you like? And, and they said, well, we'd like some eggs and bacon. And so that meant not only did he need to go out and gather some eggs, but it also meant that the farmer had to go out and, yep, you guessed it, kill the pig changed the pig's life. Then, he, after he fed the ladies, he noticed that his wife was getting worse and worse, and so he wanted to comfort his wife, and he said to his wife, Honey, what, what could I give you? What could I do to comfort you? And she said, Well, uh, husband, what I'd like to really have is some chicken soup. Which meant that he went out and he had to kill the chicken. It changed his life. After that was over, then his wife kept getting worse, and the next day she passed away. So they had a funeral, and after the funeral was over, the townspeople all came out to the farm to see the farmer and comfort him, but they all needed something to eat, and so, you guessed it, he killed the cow. Now, the moral of the story is real simply this. The things that you think are not important may very well be important. And you may be like the mouse, knowing some things are important and wanting to get them across to other people, but others aren't listening because they don't understand what is important. When it comes to this business of salvation, do you understand? <laughs> ah, I do understand. I see some things. I know some things. I understand some things from the Scriptures, and I so much want to get them across to friends and family and people that I just meet, I want to be able to communicate that truth. But the problem is, what I know is important, they don't always consider as important. One of the things that I've noticed is that people don't always know what's important, but it's helpful the better we can classify what are these things that people need to understand in order to be born again the Bible way and bring them across to them in a way that that is capturing their attention, we can deliver the truth and help them spiritually. Well, that's why I put out this little book here, was because it was dealing with this very subject of salvation and five pieces of salvation. Now, I know it's turned around on the screen. I'm sorry, can't change that, all right? I guess I could turn it around this way. I don't know you'd be able to read it. But... In the book, the book is available on Amazon now, and that's why I'm making this video. I just want to let you know about that. You can get it on Amazon in paperback or Kindle and get a hold of the book. But now, here's, there's more. Don't hang up on me yet, okay? Drop me an email, 
and I'll, I'll have my information down there in the comments section in a moment. Drop me an email, let me know that you've picked up a copy of the book, I'll put you on the list, and this next week, Lord willing, I plan to put out some material on how to take the information that you've got here, and other information for that matter, and be able to take the gospel messages and be able to deliver them to a person to capture their attention. There are some things you can do, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit, and I'll be saying more about that as kind of a bonus and a thank you to those of you that helped me out in getting this book uh, not only bought, I'm not, I'm not interested, well, I am interested in getting the book out, I guess, but I'm especially interested in getting it up in the rankings on Amazon, and the way you do that is very simply, some folks need to buy it within this first week in order to to get it found in there a little bit better so that it comes up when people are searching for things. So if you'd help me out, I'd be glad to help you out. And uh, maybe you can pass this video on to some friends that might have some interest as well. So I appreciate you tuning in. I uh, appreciate it if you pick up a copy of the book. Again, be sure you drop me a notice uh, in the email so that I can get you on that list and let you know when this material's ready. All right? God bless you. Appreciate you.